morning. Right, let's talk about dementia. Uh, people in England diagnosed with dementia has now hit record levels. This is according to NHS data. Yes, the new figures reveal that 487,432 people had a diagnosis of some form of the condition that's in June. Now, the most common type, we'll talk about this in just a minute, There, it's an umbrella term really, there are lots of different types of dementia, but the most common uh, type of dementia is Alzheimer's. It's up 12% compared with January of last year when there were 431, 845 cases. Now, the NHS has also gone a bit further, saying the number of patients that we are quoting here is just 65% of the total number of people estimated to have dementia. The question is, why are we seeing an increase in dementia? Is it the ageing population? Is it something to do with this country, our diet? What is it? Is it cardiovascular disease? Well, joining me now is Dr Sam Moxon, who is a biomedical researcher. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on, David. Absolute pleasure. Look, um, perhaps you can tell people about dementia. It's an umbrella term, isn't it? Lots of different types yeah. of dementia sit under that umbrella. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously you'd be very aware of dementia from your medical background. It's essentially the degeneration of the brain and it results in loss of cognitive function, loss of brain function. So you see typical symptoms like memory loss, confusion, other manifestations like not liking the taste of things that you used to love, uh, inability to converse. It's a very umbrella term and Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia and that's the one that we most likely associate with it when we hear the term dementia but it is a big umbrella mm -hmm. term. And England has one of the highest dementia diagnosis rates in the world. Um, we also, I mean just in terms of this, what is going on? Is it because the population is living longer? Is it our appalling diets? Is it cardiovascular disease? What What is it? Well, I'm actually so glad that you mentioned diet as well, because that is something that's so often overlooked and it is a big factor. Dementia, Alzheimer's disease, for example, is 99% environmental. Only 1% of cases are purely genetic. So there are huge environmental factors with diet, with lifestyle, with a lot of different things, um, whether you train your brain off and with puzzles and learning languages and all that kind of stuff. But this, the other thing is it's important to be measured as well. So this sounds very scary. But actually, this could also be a little bit of good news as well, because the key thing with dementia is diagnosis. If mm. you don't diagnose a patient early enough, and that's still a big problem, it's hard to treat them. Maybe we're starting to get better at diagnosing because that figure, 65 percent of people with dementia are now diagnosed, estimated. That's three times higher than most high economic countries. So we are actually getting better at diagnosing as well. So, I think that's important. So, so it is important, of course, and, and you know, I think many people, and particularly older people, are terrified of uh, getting dementia yeah. because, of course, it, as you say, it robs people of everything. My grandmother died with Alzheimer's and it was the most appalling thing to watch, you know, yeah, personally. Sorry to hear that, Matt. Well, thank you. I mean, uh, many uh, families around the country uh, will go through yeah. that experience and, of course, robbing you of everything, dignity, personality, everything, language, everything. Yeah. Um, so, so it's all very well diagnosing people, but it's only important if we can do something about it. Yeah, exactly. And in the last couple of years, you know, for the first time in the history of, of dementia research, we started to see drugs go through clinical trials and get approved. And at the moment, the performance of those drugs is better than nothing, but it's not perfect. And the belief is that if we can try and improve diagnosis and diagnose people earlier, those drugs might become more effective. But they're not the only options as well as a whole host of new therapies making their way through preclinical and inter interclinical trials. So this is very much, I think we're at the cusp of a much more positive age in treating and diagnosing dementia. So, so for people listening and watching this at home, how can you protect yourself to the best of your ability against getting dementia? But this is a question that, that I love, love to answer because suddenly the power is back with you. There are things that you can do. And one of the big things you can do is improve your diet. So you want to remove things like processed foods, high saturated fats, and try and have as healthy a diet as possible. You want to exercise, take a brisk walk every day, uh, read books, do puzzles. There's so many different things you can do. And if you go on the Alzheimer's Research UK website, you can find a list of things that you can do. And suddenly you have the power to have a bigger influence over your cognitive health. And the best time to start is right now. And I assume cardiovascularly, as you say, go for a walk, but stop smoking and make sure, yeah. as you say, the diet. I mean, smoking is a really important point in this. Yeah, absolutely. Anything that's what, what is good for your heart is good for your brain, but also what we forget that the whole body is connected. So, you know, what happens in your gut influences your brain. What happens in your lung will influence the blood supply to your brain. The whole body works in synergy. So if you can optimize your personal health, whether it's looking at your gut health or your cardiovascular health, that's going to have a knock on impact on your brain health as well. 
Sam, that's really uplifting, actually, to know that we can do something about it. Thank you so much. I haven't heard that before, so thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Dr Sam Moxon, who is a biomedical researcher.